Welcome to another episode of Baking with Lauren. Late night boozy baking is on tonight's menu. And the reason it's boozy because the first recipe of two that we're making is rum balls. Taylor and I have actually never tried these. We haven't ever tried both of the recipes that I'm making. First one being rum balls, the second being crinkle cookies, red velvet crinkle cookies. Liam will be awake for part of the first recipe. Okay, let's get started. So for the rum balls, we are gonna need a cup of chocolate chips, half cup of sugar, a third cup of rum, three tablespoons of light corn syrup, 50 vanilla wafers, one cup walnuts. So the first step is to ground up the vanilla wafers. Okay, bud, you ready? So if you don't have a food processor, it says you can just put it in a Ziploc bag and crush them that way. So you don't need a food processor, but you're gonna wanna get them until they are fine crumbles, not Bucky. thick pieces in there. Now we're gonna do the chocolate chips. Okay, we need one cup poured until it's all the way full. Now we're gonna put these in a microwave bowl. Okay, now we're gonna heat them up. Excuse me, saggy pants. All of your pants. These actually were made to sag. They're no, called, they're not. They're called sagger taggers. So if you can't think of something for gift ideas to get your family members or just kind of hard people to shop for in your life, make them treats. Everybody loves food. You can make healthy Christmas treats, you can make unhealthy Christmas treats, but I feel like fun little Christmas desserts is a great gift idea. Okay, get out of the sugar, quit playing on it. Is it warm now? Into the chocolate is going to go the sugar, so pour the sugar in here. It says to refrigerate this for 30 minutes, so that is what we're going to do, and we're going to move on to the red velvet crinkle cookies. Crinkle cookies. Crinkle cookies. Okay, I forgot the walnuts. I totally read over that part. Ugh. Okay. Now we're going to finely chop these so you can pull that down. And if you don't know what folding in means, Taylor had to teach me this, but you scoop from the bottom and just kind of literally fold it over the top. So you're not wanting to over mix is basically why they say would say to fold something in. So I'll just scoop over a couple times and that's about it. Before I get started on this other recipe, I'm going to put Liam to bed because well, it is his bed. bedtime. Yes? Are you ready to go brush your teeth, mister? No. You never are. I am now down a little helper, but this next ingredient has a little bit more ingredients. The rum balls were surprisingly pretty minimal ingredients and very quick to whip together. So the ingredients we're gonna need for this, now the measurements I'm going off of are gonna make 24 cookies. So you're gonna need a whole stick of butter, three fourth cup brown sugar, half a cup of regular sugar, two eggs, vanilla extract, but we have vanilla paste. And it has a little conversion chart on here. So one teaspoon of vanilla paste is equal to one vanilla bean and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So it's pretty much equal parts. You're gonna need red food coloring. Taylor and I actually found some red velvet flavor on clearance at Walmart. So I might throw a couple drops of that in there. You're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. And I don't expect you to remember all these measurements. I will link the recipes below off of the ones I'm following to get a detailed list of everything that I'm doing. You're gonna need a third cup of cocoa powder, one and one half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, 
And last ingredient, powdered sugar. You will need a half cup of this. So thankfully, we had all these ingredients minus the butter and brown sugar, but we like to keep those on hand anyway. Taylor is a baker. I am not the baker in this family. Taylor can just whip up ideas for, and make them from scratch. I, on the other hand, need to follow a recipe. I just always have been like that. I need to know exactly which measurements because I'll probably make some blob and I would have just wasted all my ingredients and all my time. So Pinterest is my friend. First step, heating the oven, which I already did. You are going to line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Done. I have been letting the butter sit out so it is not too hard. I would highly suggest that. It will just save you time with creaming everything together. And even though I follow recipes, it doesn't mean I am a stickler with the measurements. A little more rum, a little less sugar. That's where I break the rules and add a little bit of my own flavor to the recipe. Taylor started buying this new kind of sugar. I don't know if he gets it from City Market or Walmart. Walmart? What is it called? We threw away the bag. No, we still have it. Oh, we do? Mm -hmm. He's the tall one. I can't reach up back here. Thank you. It is Zolka Morena Pure Cane Sugar. When this is like our second or third bag, we really like it. Like the cilantro sprouting little leaves. Taylor and I have been growing some herbs. Let me show you. What is it, like two weeks now? Let's yeah, see. Well. So we have basil growing right here. Borage. 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 <laughs> Borage. It's a blue flower that tastes like cucumber and also has a lot of like medicinal purposes, right? It's like a homeopathic medicine Same. can be made into. Pretty cool. Cilantro and chives. We are so excited. It's just in our little window in our kitchen. It just tastes like booze. Taylor says they are very boozy. I added a little extra. <laughs> I only added like a tiny bit extra and I didn't go crazy. Uh oh. If you guys ever enjoyed M&M minis, you know, you used to get them in a little plastic <laughs> the tube. The tubes, yeah. yeah. I remember that. I used to like those a lot as a kid. You, know, you could never find entire bags that you used for baking back in the day. But now you can. So, score. Yeah, Liam threw those M&Ms in the cart. And Taylor's like, oh, did you get these? I'm like, no, I thought you did. <laughs> Liam has been doing this to a, that to us a lot lately. Taylor, this says that it should be light and fluffy. This doesn't look light and fluffy to me. Yeah, I guess. Um... Add the eggs. Where are you? We bought this vanilla paste because it was cheaper than the vanilla extract. And it's pretty dang good when added as a substitute for vanilla extract. Red food coloring, half a teaspoon. I'm just going to add a splash of the red velvet flavor. Now we are moving on to the dry ingredients. going to use the one I used for the dry ingredients in another bowl. One with powdered sugar or confectioner sugar and one with granulated sugar. So it says to take one tablespoon scoops. Oh, roll it in the sugar first. And the reason why you're coating it in the granulated sugar first is to help crystallize and harden the outer shell of the cookie. So it's crunchy when you bite into it, but it's soft on the inside. Okay. 
and then we rolled it in the powdered sugar. Voila! And for this recipe, it says you, that you don't need to refrigerate the dough. If you want a flat cookie, like the ones that they show in the picture, you don't refrigerate it, and you use it while it's room temperature, and it's easily moldable as well. I am putting them in the oven for 10 minutes, and I am definitely going to be checking them because living in Colorado, we're so high in elevation that things cook differently here than other places I've lived. So I have to check with cooking things in the oven, especially cookies. While those are cooking, I am going to do a little cleanup. The rum balls are ready to be rolled. Here is what they are looking like straight from the fridge. And for these, it says to just roll them into a ball and roll them in sugar. Let's give it a taste test. I can't taste the rum. I don't know. These taste pretty dang good. They're rich in chocolate, but they're good. Hey, come taste my red velvet crinkle cookies. They don't taste red velvet to me. Taylor doesn't know what to think about the cookies, and I don't know it's either. It's not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. They're, I just... I just can't taste anything, so... It's like they wanted to be a flavor, but they didn't know what to be, so they just didn't That'll take have... a flavor. Yeah, they have no flavor. <laughs> Uh, what the heck? It's weird. Cause... I mean, they're good. Like, the consistency is really good. But they're um, just... They're you know. really good chewy. It has, like, a bite on the crust. It's really a good cookie. So my final thoughts of the two recipes. First of all, they are not healthy at all. I'm going to be giving these away to family. I'm going to be giving them away to our neighbors, everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> I liked both of them. I thought they turned out good. They turned out pretty. The cookies did. I just like that crinkle effect. It looks satisfying when you break it open. Uh, the rum balls are cute too. Tay suggests to roll them in smaller balls because I rolled mine pretty big. Um, he's going to make his own little concoction. He's melting some chocolate to drizzle over top. And it was really fun to make, um, especially the cookies. Those were just fun to roll them in all the little different sugars and you just kind of get lost in the baking world and making the cookies. It's nice to get your mind off of something else other than stress or whatever's going on in your day and you just focus on baking. It's kind of like a stress reliever. Here is Taylor's rum ball. <laughs> it's dipped and covered in chocolate and covered with more m and chocolate and it's already chocolate inside made it a thousand times better <laughs> it's too much chocolate in my opinion yeah, that's why you only freaking one of them it just tastes like a it tastes just like, pure chocolate it tastes just like damn rich yep i'm giving these away you stop working out all the time <laughs> He is so annoyed at me for working out, like, seven days a week. <laughs> yeah. I have to do something that helps take out some stress. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. It is now 10 o'clock and my baking is now complete. I am satisfied with the very sweet desserts I made. Hopefully the recipients will enjoy them. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what are some Christmas treats that you have been baking and if you try these, let me know. If you change them up, make them your own. I would love to hear. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video.